Greetings, 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 my beloved brethren, in the name of Jesus. It's a joy to be uh, with you once again as we go through the Be That Man Men's School of Ministry teachings and little tidbits that I'm sh I'll be sharing with you over the coming weeks and months. And I want to give God praise for you. I want to give God praise, the fact that you are tuning in, that you are listening today. I pray that the Lord will bless you and edify you. You know, there's so much that we can learn about being men and being men of God. And uh, I just want to give God praise for what the Lord has been teaching me and how the Lord has been enabling me to grow. And I've had to do a lot of growing up and a lot of changing throughout my journey in, in, in life. But I've seen the hand of God just been so faithful and uh, so merciful to me. And I want to give him praise uh, today. Well, the last time that we were together, uh, we spoke about the, the standard that God set for man at the beginning of time when we read through the book of Genesis. We discovered that the image of God uh, is the existence of man as a spirit. So we are spirit beings and that's what connects us to God. And then we spoke about the likeness of God, which is one who possesses many of the characteristics of a person. Uh, someone who is similar, who is in like manner, in the same fashion. And what we, what we had learned was that the image of God never changes. The image of God is what connects us to God because we're spirit beings and God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The biggest issue that we have is that we're not operating in the likeness of our Heavenly Father. And that's what we learned about the last time that we were together. And you can get more of that teaching if you go back to episode five of the Be That Man School of Ministry. But today, we're going to talk about God is after himself. God is after himself. Now, I'm going to share with you a, a number of scripture verses taken from the book of Genesis. And then I'm just going to make a couple of points here, just to just to get our juices thinking and asking God to direct us. Amen. So we're going to start by reading the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 11 and 12. Genesis 1, verses 11 and 12. Now I want to share these scriptures. It's important to share the scriptures because it is the word that, that, that shapes us, that governs us. Amen. It's the word that disciplines and defines who we are. So we need to read the scriptures. Amen. Praise God. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. I want you to keep in mind that as I'm going through these scriptures, the key words that I want you to think about is after his kind. Amen. Just say that with me. After his kind. Amen. And verse 12 of Genesis uh, chapter 1 says this. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind. And the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And then we go to Genesis 1, 21. And this takes us also into uh, 24 and 27 as well. But I just want to just give us an overview of these scriptures. Just listen to these scriptures. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind. And every wing fowled after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind cattle and creeping thing and the beast of the earth after 
his kind and it was so glory to god and god made the beasts of the earth after his kind and cattle after their kind and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind and god saw that it was good and god said let us make man in our image after after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth so god hallelujah be them oh praise god so the bible really teaches us that, that god was very specific god is a god of order he's meticulous in what he does and he is a God of order, purpose, and design. And here, the Bible says that God had, had, had put the, brought the animals together after his kind, the cattle together after their kind. And then it goes straight into verse 26, which we read last time. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Glory be to God. Amen. And we discovered... The last time that we were together, as I'm just reminding us again, that the image of God is the spirit of God. Hallelujah. That's what connects us to him. And the likeness means that we operate in like manner. Amen. Remember Jesus, he operated as his father operated. Amen. So we operated in like manner. Glory be to God. And you may be thinking, well, what has this got to do with God being after himself? Well, God created us to be like him, not to be God, but to be like him. He created us to operate by his standards and his principles, to do things his way, that we are shaped and governed and defined by him, amen? That we get our directives and our direction and our inspiration by him. God creates, we have the power to create, amen? This, this is an example, bless the name of the Lord. And so we know that our heavenly father wants us to be like him amen jesus came and showed us a pattern of living that we could live by hallelujah that we could be like our heavenly father in every way and for that we we really do give god praise so with all those those thoughts in mind i want us to go over to the book of matthew chapter 3 i'm going to read two verses from there matthew chapter 3 verses 16 and 17. Now remember, God created everything after its kind. Hallelujah. When we recognize that we are made in the image of our God, that means that we are replicas of him. We are his representatives. Amen. We, we flow from him. It is our spirit that connects us to him. Glory be to God. We are spirit beings that dwell in the body and God wants us to operate in his likeness in the same manner. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, when we can get a hold of this deep in the recesses of our hearts, what will happen is change. What will happen is, is, is families really rejoicing because the husband, the father, the uncle, all these men are, are, are looking unto Jesus who is the author and finisher of their faith. They're learning to operate by God's standards and principles in their everyday lives, in their everyday decisions. Amen. God is after himself. Amen. Here's what the Bible says. Matthew 3, verses 16 and 17. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased isn't that beautiful this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased oh to god be the glory now the reason why god said this is my beloved son was because he saw himself in his son hallelujah he saw himself in 
his son. And he wants to see himself in us. We have to be a reflection of our Heavenly Father. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Our God is such a good God. He's such a wonderful God. I'm, I'm so grateful that I could, I could get this word today. Amen. And I pray that it, it, it's gone into your spirit already. That we're excited. Amen. That, that God wants to see himself in us. He is after himself. He wants to see himself flowing in and through our lives. Amen. Every decision, every choice. Amen. Every prayer, every thought. Amen. Our attitude, everything. Lining up with him. Lining up with what he would do. Amen. What a God we serve. <clears throat> so therefore, he wants to see himself in us. Amen. And I give God praise for the born again experience. I give God praise that Jesus came. I give God praise that I said yes to Jesus because I'm learning now that I can be like my heavenly daddy. I don't have to be God. I just need to operate in his likeness. So my thoughts are, what would God do? What would Jesus do? How would he handle this? Amen. God wants to see himself in us. Amen. God is our creator, therefore we have the capacity to create. Amen. God is a communicator, therefore we have the capacity to communicate. Amen. God is relational, therefore we have the capacity to relate not only with him, but with one another. God is a moral being, and therefore we have the capacity to live morally responsible lives god is love and in him is no darkness at all amen therefore we have the capacity to love one another enabling the light of god's glory to shine in all that we do isn't god good in all that we do god is good therefore we have the capacity to spread goodness wherever we go God is faithful. Amen. Therefore, we have the capacity to be faithful to God, our spouses, our families, our children, and to each other. Hallelujah. All the, 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 the traits of our Heavenly Father need to be flowing in and through our lives. He's already set a standard in the scriptures to take us to where he wants us to be. <clears throat> Excuse me. And therefore, we must let God be God in our lives. Amen. So, so important. Amen. He is after himself. He wants to see himself in us. We need to be a reflection of our Heavenly Father in our decisions and in our choices, as I said before. We need to let God be God in our lives. Amen. We would have much healthier uh, uh, families. We would have a much healthier world if we just did what God says, if we just uh, uh, operate by his standards, by his principles, that's where God wants us to be. He's not, doesn't, he's not spoiling our fun. He's not trying to say that we can't enjoy life, but we need to just have a healthy relationship with him. Amen. That we can be shaped by him, governed by him, made new by him. Amen. We could live successful lives. Amen. God is a good God. Amen. And I want to challenge every one of us as men today to grab a hold of this word today that God is after himself. He wants to see himself in you. When he looked on Jesus and said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased, glory be to God. He could say that because he saw himself in his son. May he see himself in you today. Amen. Glory be to God. And I urge you and challenge you to go back to the scriptures. Read Genesis chapter 1 after his kind god created everything after his kind amen and when he came to man he said he will, we were made in his image and in his likeness amen and i want to say to us today we are special we are powerful god has given us such capacity inside of us let's use it for his glory let his name be magnified in your life today i pray that the lord will bless you 
I pray that the Lord will cause his face to shine upon you. I pray that the Lord will keep you in perfect peace. And until next time, I want you to stay blessed. I want you to be that man. Be who God says you are. Amen. You guys take care now. Until I see you again. Bless the Lord. Greetings. I'd like to give you the opportunity today, for those of you who do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal saviour, that you receive him into your heart. It was the best decision that I ever made in my life, and I'm sure it will be the best decision that you will ever make. I want to say to you today that God loves you. The Bible tells us in John 3, 16, God so greatly loved and prized the world that he even gave up his only begotten unique son so that whoever believes in trust in clings to or relies on him shall not perish or come to destruction or be lost but have everlasting life isn't that wonderful i also want to share with you today that christ died for your sins for my sins the scriptures tell us for i delivered unto you first of all that which i also received the apostle paul says how that christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures that's in first corinthians 15 3 and 4 So today, you too can receive Jesus Christ as your personal saviour. And if that is you today, right now, and you would like to accept Christ as your saviour, then repeat this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. You said in your word, him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. You said also, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I am calling upon your name. I desire you to save me now. You said in your word, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. I believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. I believe that he died for my sins according to the scriptures. I believe that he is raised from the dead for my justification. With my mouth, I confess Jesus as my Lord and savior. And I confess now that I am saved. Amen. Well, praise God. If you have made that decision today, that is the best decision that you have ever made. And if you would like to, uh, for us to send you some information, please do contact us on the information below. We will not store your information. We just want to get some information to you to set you on your way to your newfound faith. So God bless you, God keep you, God cause his face to shine upon you and keep you in perfect peace. Until next time, stay blessed.